Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I'm going to be doing another Discord video. Once again, this video is based about three months after when the actual video was recorded. Um, as I said in the last video, I never actually got around to editing or doing the voiceovers for these videos. And because of the fact that the recordings had a fan in the background, I decided probably best to just redo the audio because otherwise that's going to be really annoying here so concept the same nothing's changed with discord since maybe a few new features but none of them which will affect what is actually the point of this video so everything, everything in the video is still 100% relevant so in this video of course I'm showing you how to make an embed for server rules page on discord very easy um, you can pick any bot that does embeds really um, specifically reaction roles I would say but I personally would use to use Carlbot um, I think it's probably one of the easiest ones to use and it's got all the features that you want on it I prefer Carlbot, it's my favourite bot to use in Discord for it um, of course I'm going to be showing give it through the Opsi Gaming YouTube server I needed to update the YouTube server a little bit um, it's not particularly active anymore, but that's because I'm not really on it that much. I'm sure that if we wanted to get more active again, you'd do it very easily. But um, the point of this video is to show you how to make the server rules page. And I've decided to create my own whilst recording it, so I can teach you guys how to do it as well. I've done this lots of times before. So, of course, you go to your reaction walls. What are reaction walls? Um, Basically, you can press an emoji, you know, the posts with reactions on it, which are emojis. Basically, you press the emoji and it gives you a roll. So, uh, very simple, really. Um, I personally prefer to go to show embed builder, you don't have to do embeds. You can actually just use the content box and just write something in there and then put emojis. Um, that's how I used to do it before I learned how to do embeds. But embeds look a lot more professional, in my opinion. So um, with your embed you can of course toggle colour picker so you can put a little border colour on the side. Um, as you can see mine is a bit dodgy when it comes to the colours so I have to pick anything I want. Um, it's very sensitive and it moves I don't know why I don't ask. Um, I really wish I just picked a colour but I really want green. So of course you can pick your colour, then in the description, um, put all of your rules and that welcome part I would put in the title, which is probably what I'm going to do. But in the description part I would put the group rules. If you want to, you could add fields and do rule 1, the information, then another field, rule 2, information, you could do that. Or you could just do it all in one box. I personally do it all in one box, it saves time. But if you have time and you'd like to put fields in it, which maybe they would make it a lot more neat and a lot more professional maybe um, you could do that but either way it doesn't really matter that much it doesn't make that much of a difference it all still does the exact same thing as you want it to um, so where it says icon url name url title url and um, basically in them you get urls off the internet so your icon would be like a little photo up in the top left corner of the embed a uh, very small kind of like an ICO picture if you know what that is I'm pretty sure I said oh, what size is that is that 14.4 pixels by 14.4 pixels or something like that I might even be smaller than that I'm not entirely sure and um, I know I have to use it on the Opster game YouTube Ricky um, as I could put an ICO in there so whenever you open up the Ricky at the top left tab it will show the little picture for the actual page which is quite a nice little feature I have in there it's like basically a little aesthetic so that's quite nice to have in there so you can add that as an icon URL what do you use for that? Um, I'll show you later on of course currently 4 minutes and 48 seconds through the video I think I'll show it around about 8 minutes through so once we get to that I'll explain why I'm on that there's no point in jumping ahead but right now with your rules, if you're struggling with what rules to put in, um, yeah, if you look at mine, have a go at trying to put ones in like mine. If the rules are very like, kind of simple, just 
and standard rules. Or what I'd recommend you do is really just look up on Google Discord server rules. I'm sure you find lots and you just copy paste. Probably find lots of them. Uh, I think Discord on the actual. Um, I made a video on this last time for the. Um, or what do you call it? Membership screening and the welcome thing. You can put rules in there for people to accept the terms and conditions. And it recommends your rules there, so you could actually copy paste the rules across if you wanted to. So you can even get recommended rules off Discord and just copy paste them into this. Um, if you're wondering why would you have that reversed thing of Discord where they have to accept terms and conditions uh, membership screening, and then they can go through another rules. Um, yeah, that'd probably be a very good point of why do I do that? Yeah, I don't know why I do that, that's a very good point. Anyways, uh, the reason why I originally done it is because I used to have, before membership screenings existed, this was, um, I used to have two stages to the Discord server. Um, I had a role called stage one, so whenever they press the tick for the server, it will give them the stage one Discord server role. And then once you get past that, they're onto the second page. Where they get like selected games or clams or whatever you're doing for your Discord. Um, and then, of course, with the roles for that topic which they picked, they'd also get another role which you put in there under reaction roles, which would be server unlocked role which I made. And that role I'd, of course, put into each and every page. You know, they have to have an unlocked role to be able to view and write on all the pages. So that's the reason why I originally done it, but. Realistically thinking, you could probably not go for a server rules page at all anymore if you didn't want to. But if you do want to do it like this, have your own page. But the thing is, the problem with a membership screening is, once they've gone through the rules, they can't see the rules again and you can't send them to the rules again. So that is probably the main reason why I'd say I still have a server rules page so that I can send people to it and mention rules from it because if people can't go back to the rules here you just say they don't see the rules but by doing this I just put hashtag server rules page and then I mention the page and tell them what rule to go to so that is the advantage of having a server rules page and that's the reason why I would recommend that you have one but if you're not really that bothered and you just have a casual server maybe Set up a membership screener. Or if it's just a group of friends, you probably don't need anything, any of this, but if it's just a group of friends server, you probably won't be watching this video in the first place, so yeah. Now, getting on to where you get your images from, where you upload them, I use Imager. It's a good site, you can upload as many images as you want. Now, actually, it used to be a limit of a maximum of 15 photos, I think it was, uh, whenever I made this video. But they've updated it now and you can have as many as you want on there, which is great. Basically, you can upload your images to it. And then you can go and get a direct direct link share, that's the one I recommend, not image link. Not the one I've just copied there, uh, that's not going to be right. Um, I wonder if I have to go back and update that later on in this video, it'll be quite funny actually. But, um, three months later, I can tell you right now, don't copy image link, copy direct link. So, uh, maybe that's the advantage of doing the voiceover three months later. I can point out what was actually wrong. Always copy direct link because that's got .png or .jpeg on the end. And that, for some reason, it seems to be very picky with its sources on this one well, call, but I don't understand why, but it does it. Especially in Discord. So my opinion is pick direct link, make sure it's got a .png or .jpeg in the end. Or whatever kind of file format it is, but mainly PNG and JPEG are the most commonly used. But um, as you can see I filled in the parts there for the images. It's very simple to do, you'll be able to figure it out. Now getting on to the actual reaction roles. So now you add emojis, so pick whatever you want. And on this, obviously, I've put a tick in there because 
that's all I need, isn't it? I'm not going to put an X on those. If someone says X, no, I don't agree to all these rules. It's really pointless, so I might as well just not be on the server. So, only put a tick on there. Um, then, of course, you put the rolls under there. Mine, of course, as I said, they get stage one and then you move on to the second page. So I only give them a stage one more. Now you can see it's been posted on reserve there. Yeah. Uh, that's the old one there, it looks very plain and unprofessional, you can see it does. And now that is a new one, it looks a lot nicer. Um, as I said with the image, and um, yeah, look at them images, it's got a big poopy head on it. Um, so as I said, direct link. That's the reason why you don't copy image link, you copy direct link. You'll have that happen. Very good actually to be able to make an example of that in this video actually, because that's something that might be a common problem for a lot of you guys. So to have me be able to explain that is probably very useful. I might even make a YouTube short on that actually. I'm thinking about making some YouTube shorts from now on, along with some big videos of course. But, um, I'm going to be making some YouTube shorts, just short videos, because I've got a lot of videos which I want to make, but I think they'd be 40 second videos of one minute. So instead of dragging it out, I'm going to experiment with YouTube shorts and see what I can do. And there'll be a different style to what a lot of you guys are probably used to. You're probably used to like TikTok kind of videos, it wouldn't be like that. It'll be very much still in the area in which I made videos on. So. I love you guys who do come to this channel to see that kind of content, the different content, not just your standard content that you see, like TikTok and stuff. So you guys who come to the channel to see your technology videos, your gaming videos, learn how to use things in Discord and stuff like that, that's what I'm going to be doing in for YouTube Shorts. Giving like short instruction kind of videos even, like maybe how to get extra storage in Google Drive like an easy video on it or something or how to set up a Google Drive account for a bit like 40 seconds so very easy explanations um, I'm even thinking about doing some tier lists maybe so um, for example I probably won't do this don't plan to do Clash Wars 2 again anytime soon might end up doing it at some point but um, as an example Top 10 heroes in Clash Wars 2, and put it all down to 60 seconds, just giving you a list. And then make a longer video saying why they're the top 10 and giving you the reason, explanations of why. Which means that for you guys who want to just see what top 10 are, it'd be in that 60 second video for you or less. And for you guys who want to know why and the explanations to why they would be in them positions and what they do and all that, it'd be a longer video. I don't plan on making that video, but you never know. I might make it. I know <laughs> if they do get a lot of views in one minute. Um, so as you can see, that was a nice little trick that I just done there. Um, I feel like I've just missed it now, I'll show you. Basically, if you want to copy an embed instead of doing an embed all over again, Go to your moderation log or whatever page, doesn't really matter, I put moderation log because that's private. Um, I put explanation mark, embed source, space, and then the mention the page, has to have the whole page, yeah. and then put on the end of that, you need to copy the embed which is on that page, The you need to copy the ID of the embed and paste that onto it. So, explanation mark, embed source, mention page, embed ID. Enter, then Carl Bart will reply with the whole entire big, um, it's not CSS, I don't know what it is, I can't remember. I can't remember what type of coding it is. But um, then you paste that at the very top like I did. Rewind the video if you need to, if you need to know how to do it. Um, I might explain it in a YouTube short, you never know. I'll do it. Yeah, probably a good idea actually. A quick 60 second YouTube short on how to do that. Good idea, my dear. So, um, yeah, I will actually do a video on how to do that so that you guys can learn how to do that because that might not seem very useful right now, but trust me, it's very useful. 
because a lot of the time you need to update your embeds and having to completely redo them all over again it's painful. It is painful, especially if you do really big embeds with lots of writing on them and stuff and images. It's seriously painful. So it's much easier just copy and then just edit. Um, on mention of that, it doesn't copy over the reactions. You have to put them in yourself still in the roles, but it saves you a lot of time. So that's a good thing. Um, basically, quite a long video, but giving you a deep, good explanation on how to create an embed for your server rules page. Hope it's explained well. Even got some extra info in there for you guys that you probably learnt stuff that you didn't know before on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you found it useful and I hope that it will work for you guys, it should do if you do it right. Make sure to like, subscribe and definitely hit that like button for more Discord content. And now, peace out.